A less invasive test already used to diagnose coronary disease also may be used to detect one of the leading causes of heart failure. Researchers at the Medical College of Georgia are using a nuclear stress test to look at how fast blood flows into the heart's pumping chamber. We wanted to basically study the part of the heart failure called uh, diastolic heart failure, which is a big problem nowadays, especially uh, in the patient population that we have around Medical College of Georgia and across the country, I can say. Diastolic dysfunction occurs when the heart's pumping chamber fails to properly fill with blood because it is stiff and unable to relax. It accounts for 40 to 60 percent of patients with heart failure, according to the American Heart Association. The biggest challenge doctors face is detecting diastolic dysfunction in patients. If the heart has a problem pumping the blood out, that is called systolic heart failure. And we have a very good diagnostic tool to do that or to detect the systolic heart failure. The mainly the tools are echocardiography, uh, myocardial perfusion scan, what we call myocardial stress test, heart stress test, and the ultimate diagnostic test is also called uh, cardiac catheterization. Uh, all these three tools are good at detecting the systolic heart failure, but they are not good to detect the diastolic heart failure. A nuclear stress test is typically used to identify blockages in the heart. A dye is injected into the bloodstream to show how well blood flows to the heart. Scans are taken shortly after an exercise test when the heart is stressed and then again two or three hours later when the heart is at rest. What we studied is something called left ventricular filling curve. That means that we take the picture of the heart while the heart is filling with the blood and at the different moment uh, when the camera takes the picture, during those different pictures we calculate the volume in the heart and we derive something called left ventricular filling curve. And from this filling curve, we would assess the function of uh, the heart, how well it is filling. What we found out over time is that this elevated lung heart ratio was a marker of the diastolic dysfunction in the heart. In other words, the ability of the heart to fill was if it couldn't fill properly, the lung heart ratio elevated. Another way to check diastolic dysfunction is to measure the filling pressure in the heart. And that's invasive to get the catheter into the heart to measure that pressure. So if you can get a non-invasive estimate of that, then you're way ahead of the game. So that's what we're trying in this study. This new way of detecting diastolic dysfunction can now be translated into clinical practice here at MCG and any medical facility that performs nuclear scans. For MCG News, this is Amy Connell reporting.